Today, we will be exploring the classic novel The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Set during the Great Depression, this book tells the story of the Jode family, who are forced to leave their farm and travel to California in search of work and a better life. Along the way, they face numerous challenges and hardships, including poverty, discrimination, and exploitation. The Grapes of Wrath is not only a compelling story of survival and resilience, but also a powerful critique of the social and economic conditions of its time. Through its vivid depiction of the struggles of migrant workers, the novel highlights the injustices and inequalities and the urgent need for labor rights. In this PowerPoint presentation, we will explore the major themes and motifs of the book, including the struggle for survival during times of hardship, the importance of family and community in difficult times, and the failure of the American dream. We will also examine the novel's use of biblical allusions, the repeated image of the turtle crossing the road, and the contrast between the natural world and the industrialized world. By the end of this presentation, we hope that you will gain a deeper appreciation for this classic novel and its enduring relevance to our own time. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of the Grapes of Wrath. John Steinbeck was an American author born in Salinas, California, on February 27, 1902. He grew up in a middle-class family and developed an interest in writing from a young age. After attending Stanford University for a few years, Steinbeck left without obtaining a degree and worked as a manual laborer, a journalist, and a caretaker at a fish hatchery. In 1935, Steinbeck published his first successful novel, Tortilla Flat, which was followed by Of Mice and Men in 1937. However, it was his epic novel, The Grapes of Wrath, published in 1939, that solidified his reputation as a major American author. The novel chronicled the struggles of a family of migrant workers during the Great Depression and won the Pulitzer Prize in 1940. Throughout his career, Steinbeck continued to write novels, nonfiction books, and short stories, often exploring themes related to social justice and the human condition. His other notable works include East of Eden, Cannery Row, and Travels with Charlie in Search of America. Steinbeck was also active in politics and social causes, speaking out against fascism and racism, and supporting the labor movement. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1962. Steinbeck died of heart disease on December 20, 1968, at the age of 66. His legacy as one of America's greatest writers continues to be celebrated and studied today. The Grapes of Wrath is set during the Great Depression in the United States, specifically in Oklahoma and California. The time period is the 1930s. The novel follows the Jode family, who are tenant farmers in Oklahoma, as they are forced to leave their home due to the Dust Bowl and economic hardship. They travel to California in search of work and encounter numerous challenges along the way, including poverty, hunger, and discrimination. Ultimately, the family's dreams of a better life are shattered, and they are left with little hope for the future. John Steinbeck wrote, the Grapes of Wrath to bring attention to the plight of migrant workers during the Great Depression and to expose the injustices they faced. Steinbeck wanted to use the novel as a tool for social and political commentary, calling for greater empathy, understanding, and reform in American society. Steinbeck was deeply affected by the plight of migrant workers in California, where he had witnessed firsthand the harsh living and working conditions they faced. He wanted to bring their stories to the attention of the wider public and to shed light on the exploitation of laborers by large corporations. In addition to exposing the injustices faced by migrant workers, Steinbeck was also interested in exploring the themes of family, community, and the human spirit. He wanted to demonstrate the importance of these values in times of hardship and to illustrate the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Overall, Steinbeck's purpose in writing The Grapes of Wrath was to use his writing as a means of social and political commentary, calling for greater empathy, understanding, and reform in American society. Tom Jode is the protagonist of John Steinbeck's novel The Grapes of Wrath. Initially portrayed as hardened and cynical, 
he becomes more politically aware over the course of the novel. He takes a leadership role in advocating for better working conditions and standing up to those who would oppress his fellow workers. He also embodies the importance of family and community, coming to see their value and strength. Tom is a complex portrayal of struggles and resilience of working-class Americans during the Great Depression, symbolizing justice, collective action, and family-slash-community. Iman Jod is the matriarch of the Jod family in John Steinbeck's novel The Grapes of Wrath. She is a strong, resourceful woman committed to her family's survival, providing emotional support, and taking a leadership role in their journey. Iman Jod also embodies the importance of community and solidarity, encouraging others to help migrant workers and fight for better working conditions. She challenges traditional gender roles by taking on masculine roles and symbolizes the resilience, strength, and determination of working-class women during the Great Depression. Jim Casey is a former preacher and a moral guide to the Jode family. He is grappling with questions of faith and social justice and has left the church due to his disillusionment with the institutional church. He serves as an intellectual voice for migrant workers, challenging them to think critically about their situation and consider larger systemic issues causing their suffering. He also provides comfort and spiritual guidance in times of crisis. He is seen as a symbol of the struggle for social justice and collective action. His character embodies themes of faith, social justice, collective action, and transformation in the face of hardship. A Rose of Sharon is the daughter-in-law of the Jode family, initially portrayed as immature and self-absorbed. Throughout the novel, she transforms into a symbol for potential growth and renewal in the face of hardship and adversity. Her pregnancy, fears, and eventual decision to breastfeed a starving stranger represents personal growth and social change amidst systemic inequality. Her character embodies themes of family, community, and resilience that are central to the Grapes of Wrath. Grandpa Jode is a symbol of the traditional values and ways of life being threatened by the Great Depression. He is deeply attached to his land and community in Oklahoma and resists leaving, even when their farm is repossessed. Over time, Grandpa Joe becomes increasingly frail and disoriented, eventually dying during the family's journey to California. His death symbolizes the passing of an older way of life and the struggles of adapting to new circumstances. His character captures the tension between tradition and change as well as the challenge of maintaining identity during tumultuous times. John Steinbeck's novel The Grapes of Wrath focuses on the theme of the struggle for survival during times of hardship, set against the backdrop of the Great Depression. The characters face poverty, hunger, violence, and exploitation as they strive to survive in a society devastated by economic and social forces beyond their control. Their journey is depicted as a brutally unforgiving process that tests their limits and requires difficult choices and sacrifices at the expense of their own well-being. Despite hardships, they are able to find strength in solidarity and come to realize that their survival depends on working together and standing up to oppression. If this theme serves as a reminder of human resilience and determination in the face of adversity, inspiring potential for personal growth and social change. The importance of family and community in difficult times is a central theme in John Steinbeck's novel The Grapes of Wrath. The novel is set during the Great Depression, a time of severe economic hardship and social dislocation, and follows the Jode family as they migrate from Oklahoma to California in search of work and a better life. Throughout the novel, the characters are forced to confront the challenges and difficulties of survival in a society that has been devastated by economic and social forces beyond their control. They face poverty, hunger, violence, and exploitation at every turn and must rely on their own resourcefulness, resilience, and determination to survive. However, as the novel progresses, the characters begin to realize that their survival depends on their ability to work together, to support one another, and to stand up to the forces of oppression and exploitation that seek to keep them down. They come to understand the importance of family and community in helping them to weather the storm of economic hardship and social upheaval. The Jode family, in particular, 
serves as a powerful symbol of the importance of family and community in difficult times. Despite their many disagreements and conflicts, they remain bound together by their shared struggle and their love for one another. They come to realize that their survival depends on their ability to work together, to support one another, and to stand up to the forces of oppression and exploitation that seek to keep them down. Overall, the theme of the importance of family and community in difficult times is a powerful reminder of the resilience and strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. It speaks to the universal human experience of relying on others for support and guidance during times of difficulty and the potential for personal growth and social change that can emerge from the bonds of family and community. In John Steinbeck's novel The Grapes of Wrath, the exploitation of workers and the need for labor rights is a central theme. For the Jode family, who are migrants during the Great Depression, experience low wages, long hours, dangerous conditions, and discrimination while working in California. John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, centers on the failure of the American dream and the disillusionment of those who believed in it during the Great Depression. The, the characters are forced to confront poverty, hunger, violence, and exploitation, finding that the promised success through hard work is often an empty notion. Town Jode is an example of a character whose belief in the American dream leads him to realize its futility. Throughout the novel, other characters such as Ma Jode and Rose of Sharon experience despair and cynicism due to their disillusionment. The theme drives home the message that collective struggle is necessary to bring about true social and economic justice. Tom Joe becomes an advocate for workers' rights after witnessing injustices faced by his fellow workers. But the novel suggests that collective action is needed to secure fair wages and basic human rights. If this theme remains relevant today as workers fight for fair treatment and justice in the face of systemic oppression. The turtle in Chapter 3 of The Grapes of Wrath is a powerful symbol that mirrors the Jode family's journey from Oklahoma to California. It is a reminder of their resilience and perseverance, as they refuse to be deterred by obstacles and hardships on their journey. The turtle serves as an example of the fragility and vulnerability of life, as its slow progress and exposed position on the highway suggests the precariousness of life in the face of external threats. John Steinbeck's the Grapes of Wrath draws on several biblical allusions to explore the novel's themes, including the story of Exodus, the parable of the prodigal son, and other Christian symbolism. The use of these allusions provides a symbolic framework for exploring themes like struggle, survival, and redemption. It also lends timelessness and universality to the novel's message and connects it with larger spiritual and cultural traditions. Additionally, it highlights the moral and ethical implications of social injustice. In The Grapes of Wrath, John Steinbeck contrasts the natural world with the industrialized world, reflecting the novel's critique of modernity. A natural world is depicted as a source of life and vitality, providing solace and strength to characters. Industrialized world is characterized by destruction and exploitation, with land stripped of resources, polluted by industrial waste and human workers reduced to cogs in machine. If this contrast serves as a powerful symbol for Steinbeck's call for a return to a more harmonious relationship between people and nature, and for an equitable society that values all humans. The Grapes of Wrath explores themes of survival, family and community, exploitation, and the American dream. Its motifs include biblical allusions, the image of a turtle crossing the road, and a contrast between the natural world and industrialization. But the novel is still relevant today due to its commentary on poverty, inequality, and social justice. Large corporations are still exploiting workers, while beliefs in the American dream are being disillusioned. The readers today can gain insight into marginalized people through Steinbeck's vivid characters and powerful writing.